travel every 15 minutes. Now, a group of North East engineers is heading for the Newcastle Falcons rugby ground at Kingston Park this evening for a special training session. The engineers from Cummins in Darlington are preparing to row across the English Channel. We're joined now by one of the organisers, Simon Laverick, and one of the rowers, Stuart Cottrell. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Um, Simon, first of all, I'm just trying to picture these boats because they're not the kind of boats that you would see used in the Oxford Cambridge boat race, are they? No, I think they're called an adventure gig. Um, and you might have seen John Bishop uh, row the channel in uh, the exact same boat recently for um, for Sports Relief, I believe it was. Uh, there are eight-man boat, <coughs> there are six rows and a cox and a spare, and they rotate within the boat to uh, give themselves a bit of a break, Okay, uh, with it being a six-hour crossing. I was going to say, it's, it's going to take quite a long time to get across there, isn't it? Stuart, have you ever rowed one of these things before? Uh, we've had a few practice sessions in the boat, but I've never done any rowing before this. None at all? No. It's hard work? It is extremely hard work, yeah, a lot harder than I was expecting. On your back and your arms, it's it's going to be fairly uncomfortable, I think. Yeah, because I remember uh, in the build-up to the um, uh, the boat race, they were basically saying it's equivalent of picking up a hundred weight of uh, potatoes, lifting it above your head, then putting it down again, and doing that for six hours. Yeah, the, uh, the guy who's coaching us reckons it's going to be of the order of 10,000 strokes. Of the of the order to get across the channel, so it's it's going to be a long time, and yeah, it's going to be painful. Okay, what are you doing tonight then? What are you hoping the rugby falcons, the Newcastle Falcons, do for you? <laughs> uh, they've agreed just to give us a general fitness session and give us the opportunity to train as a team, which we don't often get to do. Sort of the whole crowd of us together, so put us through our paces and trying to improve the general fitness. Okay, now Simon, tell us uh, tell us exactly why you are doing this because you're not just doing it for fun. Um, we're not just doing it for fun, no, although we will be having an awful lot of fun, um, especially because I'm not actually rowing, it's the other guys that are doing the rowing. Um, we're doing it because um, I set up an organisation in June 2011, which was uh, Fixed Parkinson's, and the reason for that was because the year previous I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at the age of 41, um, so I decided I needed to do something about this. So we, we've we've done um, one or two... Um, I think we'd like to call them adventures, uh, and we're going to keep going until we uh, raise a lot of money for uh, research into Parkinson's disease. Now, when you say you've done one or two adventures, what have you done so far? Well, there was a guy last year who um, climbed Kilimanjaro, um, and there's other bits and pieces that we're, uh, we're on with, and we're in the planning stage for, um, for other, other adventures. Um, they're getting a bit ridiculous, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, but, that uh, sounds interesting. We'll, we'll see. What well, we're, we're, you're going to give us a bit of a hint, or you're not allowed well, to? Well, there's uh, the South Pole, the North Pole, all these sort of things that have been right. mentioned. Um, uh, and why not? You're saying you're, you're not actually going to be rowing yourself. Is that because of the Parkinson's and how it's affecting you? It's partially because of the Parkinson's. Um, I've also just had a back operation, and the third and probably main reason is because I'm just absolutely unfit and wouldn't be able to do it if I tried. <laughs> well, Stuart, what about, the, what about the, the rest of the guys? I mean, I've got to say, you look pretty fit. Thanks. Sorry, I should, probably shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> You're you, right, he does. you look very healthy, <laughs> is what I should be saying, and strong and manly and all that kind of thing. What about the, what about the rest of the guys? I mean, you're, you're all, you know, just engineers at Cummins. Are, you, are any of you any good at this kind of thing? We've got a fairly good mix across the fitness spectrum. Some quite sporty do a lot of training, and some... This is kind of their first uh, foray into serious exercise and serious training. So some, okay. I think, are going to find it easier than others getting getting up to speed to be able to do this. Are you worried? Because it must be pretty exposed down the middle of the channel with cross-channel ferries and everything else going up and down the channel. Yeah, it's a bit of a concern. It's, it's, there's going to be some big ships, I guess, trying to avoid us. Yeah. And we're not going to be able to do a lot to avoid them. So. I suspect you'll feel very small once you're in the middle of the channel. Yeah, at the mercy of the tide and the weather, and it's going to be a bit lonely out there. Yeah, well, listen, it sounds like it's going to be great fun. We must talk to you nearer the time. Uh, have fun tonight. Um, don't hurt, don't break yourself. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much, Neil, for coming in. Now, I, I'd like to give out the uh, website. Just make sure I get this right, Simon. It's fixparkinsons.com. That's that right? right. Yeah, okay. that's great. That's great. Simon Laverick and uh, Stuart. Cottrell, thanks very much indeed for joining us on BBC Newcastle tonight. That website again, fixparkinsons.com. Let's have a look at some more of today's news from across the region now.